So you have a consistent character on Fali.ai but you would like to import it into Comfy UI. Let me show you how to import your Fali.ai LoRa into Comfy UI. That video is an extract of my AI OFM Lab School's classroom. So if you are really interested to deep dive into Comfy UI and to building an AI influencer, you can join my school. There is only 10 spots remaining at $47 a month. Then after the price is gonna go up. So if you're interested, just you can join and click the link in my description. So once you have installed a RamPod on ComfyUI on RamPod, you can go on workflows and we're gonna save some workflow. So here I'm gonna save the default workflow and also I'm gonna just duplicate that workflow. So I'm, here I'm gonna duplicate the tab, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna call it my AI influencer workflow. So here you see that you can have many workflows. So here you have your workflow, the workflow I just used, and this workflow is called my AI influencer workflow. So here the goal here is to just generate one picture of our AI influencer. So here I'm gonna go on Fal AI, and after I'm gonna search for LoRa fast training. So here, if you did what I asked to do in the previous tutorial. So here you need to train a LoRa. You will have a keyword with a LoRa that is linked. So here I'm gonna use, let's say I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna just gonna use that one. And I'm gonna run in inference and I'm gonna generate an image. So here I have that. Now the goal is to have that character that is generated on Fali AI. The goal is to generate it on Comfy UI. So first thing here is that you want to install that. And here I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT to enable you get that link. So here we are gonna go on, we are gonna go on the Comfy UI environment back. And here you will start terminal and you will just write CD Comfy UI, then after models and after LoRa. And here you have a list of LoRa that you can install. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on chat. I'm gonna go on chat GPT. Then I'm gonna just ask him to double you get that into a terminal. Call the file Sarah dot safe then source. So here you can of course pick the name you want. It doesn't have to be Sarah. It can be the name of your AI influencer. So here I just copy that and I just paste that. Here I'm gonna wait. And here I have now my LoRa that is installed in my environment. So after what you have to do here is to, you want to install also a checkpoint for, because here you have a checkpoint, but it's a style that will not match with the AI influencer. So here also you will need to install a new checkpoint to have the face that is consistent. So in Fali, I think they are using flu flux F checkpoint so here we want to install flux dev checkpoint so here i'm gonna go on cvit ai i'm gonna write cvit ai flux dev checkpoint and here i already installed it in another environment but here you will click here and you have many download options so here you want to take the pruned model because the full model for some reason it wasn't working on my uh, run pod a few days ago so Pick that one and you will copy the link address. And here you ask W get that. And here you also want to add your token, your, your CVTI token. So here you write and here you can write and token equal my token. So here you don't want to share your token. So here I'm not gonna share my token, but at some point you want to go on your, you want to create a CVTI account by the way. And also you want to go on account setting and you will need a token to use to install a checkpoint. So here you can create my token and you can save. Then after you, there will be a secret string and uh, there will be a, a secret a password that you want to put here. You want to put that password here in the token. So here I'm just going to write something and here is saying saying that your token here so here you want to do the same you want to set your token here i'm just gonna show you guys then after you will delete it like this it's safe 
and here you write that here and I will just ask him uh, call that flux prm checkpoint so here I have my checkpoints that I can install and here I'm gonna go back on my terminal and I'm gonna go on the checkpoint folder so here I'm on checkpoint and after you can just copy paste that and enter after you will wait for a few minutes it will take a few minutes it will take maybe a while because it's 20 gigabyte i think so just wait a bit and after you will have your checkpoint so while waiting i can explain you guys uh, how comfy ui works so on comfy ui you have checkpoints you also have lora so the checkpoints is like the style of a mesh that will be generated here they are using a flux dev checkpoint and the LoRa is that one that is used and what we want and why we are using comfy ui is to have control over many LoRa. so here you can add many LoRa in your workflow because here if i go on workflow i can go on i can browse templates and here you can have LoRa's multiple like this you can add many LoRa here they are asking us to install many LoRa's but here you can have two LoRa so here you have one LoRa one LoRa and it creates something unique and you want something unique and you will want to have control so that's why Configure is interesting you can have LoRa for realism so LoRa realism and here you can import a LoRa to add realism into your pictures so you can just do the same you can copy the link uh, add your api key and that you get with my token please and here i can call that laura realism and after i can install it again i can install something new it's just uh, to show you guys uh, it's not you can do that also you can follow along with me and install that if you are interested by laura realism it, to be honest it's quite interesting to have that but after you can install any LoRa if you go on your terminal models LoRa and after you can install many LoRa and you can go for it and type enter so yeah computer is interesting because you have control over a lot of things uh, you have control over the checkpoint that you're using the LoRa and like this you can create a unique picture you can create uh, original content original images so it's really good computer is good to create good to create images so here i stopped the recording because it was taking time to flux dev prune the installation was long so from now it's done so from now what you can do here is to you can refresh comfy ui so you can just refresh the page and after from that point because you installed the checkpoint here if i do ls you see that you have the checkpoint print fluid dev print dot save tensor it's that one we installed so here if you go here you can see it's that one so fluid dev print dot save tensors and here and i'm gonna pick my ai influencer workflow so here that workflow you can pick it and after you can take the flux dev prune safe tensor the the one we installed just before so here it's if i go back it's that one if you remember it's that one and after you can do that and you can go here you can pick it and after you can also by the way here you have your checkpoint but you also need a LoRa because you will not have the LoRa if you don't have a LoRa you will not have the face so here we are gonna go on workflow browse template and here I'm gonna pick LoRa so here I go on LoRa and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna skip that part I'm gonna pick the checkpoint flux dev prune and after I'm gonna take Sarah safe tensor LoRa and here because i take that one i will copy the keyword because each laura has a keyword i'm gonna copy it here and i'm gonna write the keyword then after a purple leaf shot one girl then after i'm gonna just add 
I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write a negative prompt for realism. So here I'm gonna go on ChatGPT and I'm gonna ask it to write a negative prompt for hyperrealism. Also, there is some things we need to do. We need to change the scheduler. We need to set simple here and also the number of steps. I think you will need to set 80 steps. Otherwise, the quality will not be good enough. And also, I think it's quite good. So here, uh, ChatGPT, this negative prompt is optimized to discourage low fidelity or unnatural result. So just I know why the style wasn't so consistent with the face of the AI influencer. Here, there is no prompt. So my prompt was influencing too much the image generation so it was like uh, everything korean women but i don't precise it's a korean so just if you want to have something uh, close to fire i just make something simple uh, like selfie uh, iphone natural face and you can still uh, keep the negative prompt but here if i generate something it's gonna be more it's gonna match better that but you can still add style in your prompt and do a complex prompt. But it's just to show you guys that we just we just installed import the file AI character into Comfy UI. So here you see that the girl look look a lot to that girl. So it's the same Laura, so it makes sense. And also you can change the power of your LoRa. So here it was 0 0.75 and if you have one, the power of your LoRa is stronger. So here, after if I set one, you can play with the strength of the LoRa and so here you will see it's not so... it's not really the same. It could be better. So let's try with another strength. So here I change that value. I put one and here let's see what we have. So here we see it's, it looks way more close, it's look closer to here. It's really the same face. It was just about setting the same value. So here if I open and I go here and I do the preview, we can do the comparison. You see that it's almost the same face. And here you see there is better realism. So you don't even have to use the Laura for realism. For some reason, if you use the good prompt, negative prompt, you can have a quite realistic image. So you can still watch my next video about importing a realistic Laura. It's gonna help you having even better realistic images. Then after we just, well, I will just show you how to make videos for not expensive, the best platform to use for image to video. So that's it.